These chickens that you're looking at grow over three times larger and produce four times more eggs than native chickens normally do. They are called noilers, and among several reasons, including addressing food insecurity and hunger, they are bred to reduce bushmeat hunting and consumption in rural Africa. The breed was developed here in Nigeria by this very farm I'm on today, Amo Farms, and is a hybrid of carefully selected positive traits of exotic and local chicken. As meat like chicken remains scarce in rural parts of Nigeria and unaffordable to a majority of poor households, bushmeat consumption continues as a norm having a drastic effect on endangered species populations. The question is, can rearing Noiler chickens help to reduce the widespread consumption of bushmeat? The idea of Noiler came to being considering what our native chicken, the local breed we have on ground, was going into extinction and we knew we had to do something about it. That's on one side. On the other hand, the idea of nutrition uh, needs to be, uh, something needs to be done about it. So we want to tackle malnutrition and we have to come with a product that is able to fit in into that uh, environment of the local or the rural space and that's how Noila came about. The reported per capita egg production in Nigeria is just 65 eggs per person per year, while reported poultry meat consumption is about 2 kg per person per year. Despite the fact that about 85 million Nigerians raise chickens, the agricultural sector remains the largest employer of Nigerians, and Nigeria has the largest annual egg production and second largest annual chicken production in Africa. These figures are significantly lower than the global average. Challenges with native poultry, including high disease burdens and limited access to supplementary feed, are factors that limit production. Since noilers produce more eggs and meat than native chickens, and are said to be more able to withstand harsh conditions, it is argued that by rearing these birds, food insecurity and hunger can be addressed and bushmeat consumption can also reduce nationwide, as more households will have access to this marketed alternative. If you have tasted Noila chicken as an alternative to bushmeat, you will see that Noila is the only meat that has that preferred taste, a different taste that is close to what bushmeat offers because of the way it is reared because they go on scavenging, they go on free range, they can have access to all the feed that is different from the compounded feed. For instance, they eat your kitchen waste and they convert it very well. Farm waste, all this contributes to that kind of taste and the feel you have from the meats. For Noila, uh, you have to incur some cost before you can rear them, but I can tell you that the cost that you will incur uh, cannot be uh, compared to the profits that comes after it. An important aspect of the Noila program is the Smallholder Farmer Initiative, where poorer households can buy the Noila brooded birds at five weeks old from mother units for about 800 naira, which is about $2, and rear them in their backyards, giving them affordable and quality protein. These birds can also be raised for sale at prices up to 7,000 naira or $12 for one, helping households to generate income. Under this project, smallholder farmers are provided with materials to construct a home for their noilers and also receive training from the noiler team. With a ban on the importation of frozen chicken in Nigeria, which is reportedly full of unhealthy chemicals and far too expensive for many people, 
Initiatives like this can create more sustainability in the poultry farming industry. And today, according to Ammo Farms, there are over 750,000 smallholder farmers across Nigeria. Afis Shitu, a farm operations manager, looks after 40,000 noilers at this site alone. This is our parent stock location where we carry out our artificial insemination. Artificial insemination, the crossing of male and female, to generate the commercial DOC. We generate the commercial DOC here, where we sell to the local farmers so that we can have it. And in correlation with bush meat, noiler meat is nutritious compared to bush meat because of some proteinous feeding they are fed on and they are also like scavengers also. So the combination of the two makes this to tackle the present challenge of eating bush meat. And we have larger quantity being produced yearly that can tackle the bush meat that we're having. Arise and Wild Aid interviewed Noila consumers, and although these chickens are a part of their regular diet, there still seems to be a demand for bush meat. So while supplies of these birds can provide an income for people in rural areas and offer an alternative to hunting endangered animals, the message must also be passed across to urban bushmeat consumers that these actions endanger wildlife populations and risk zoonotic disease transmission. As another key reason for urban bushmeat consumption, according to a 2020 Wild Aid survey, is the belief that it's free from chemicals. Noilers also being free from chemicals but more sustainable is a selling point. So alongside law enforcement for the protection of endangered animals and sensitization programs, Providing alternatives like noilers to hunters, households in rural Nigeria and bushmeat sellers in cities can lend a helping hand to the reduction of bushmeat consumption. Leila Johnson Salami, Arise News, Oya.